left me a voicemail about the haircut. Nicole did a great job, and I'm very happy with her. Always have been. Um, do you have a question? Um, do you also uh, does Nicole cut women's hair? That's the question. Call me back nine five four. Hey, Kyle, this is uh, Randy. I recently had a haircut. Uh, he just left a message on my phone. Uh, yeah, it was great, man. It was a great experience in general. She did an awesome job. Uh, the whole atmosphere was great. I'll definitely be a returning customer, so uh, thanks for following up. First time anybody's ever followed up. <laughs> oh, man, I had to get my haircut. But it's great, man. Uh, good job, uh, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> so at the beginning of the show, two hours ago, we were trying to convince you to no longer go to your barber of 25 years. Yeah, right? Enzo. Right. But that's not going to happen. Vincenzo. Right. Because Polly has found a new place. Barbers and beer. Get out of here. I'm telling you, man. You go. I went to this place on Commercial, Commercial Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale, Barbers and Beer. You go in there. You sit right down. Great haircut. Very knowledgeable Get guys. Get to the they beer, know what man. Doing. Get to the beer. You walk in. It's a sports bar, first of all. The thing is a sports bar. They've got these giant flat screen TVs everywhere. And you just walk up to the fridge, open it up. Pop a cold one, sit down at one of the high tops or the couch, and just wait for your turn, man. It's awesome. It's incredible. It's a and pretty cool concept. I'll give you that. In addition to that, man, let's say, uh, you know, you got a busy day. You don't want to have time to go spend an hour in a barbershop. Right. You can go online and check the webcam out and see if it's busy or not. Right. But and can, just jump right in there, man. That's pretty cool. It's but, in my nature to improve people's concepts, like BASF. I don't make it. I make it better. Yes. How about we improve it by making it... Barbers, babes, and beer, <laughs> and we'll keep the barbers and keep the beer, and add the element of some hot babes walking oh, around. It's pretty original. Oh, there you but go. But for me, you know, when I go to the barbershop, it's a whole experience. You know, you get your espresso, you watch some Italian soccer on TV, and you get your hair cut and a shave. Well, you could watch the, Italian the top soccer of the there. back, which nobody knows how to do anymore, because all these guys, you know, they've been around. Well, I'm telling you, you can watch the Italian soccer there, you drink the beer instead of the espresso, <laughs> and they, they break out the straight razor, man, shave the back of your neck and get you going. It's awesome. Huh? All right. I don't want to get in the middle of this barbershop haircut uh, controversy. Barbers and beer, on. man. Because I kind of like both ideas. Yeah, both but ideas. I, you know, I feel like a, I feel like I'm cheating. You know, if I go to another barber, you know, and they can tell. It's like on Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, they. If totally I go back and it's like, wait a minute, yeah, wait a minute. I've got a big. You, problem. You haven't been here in a while. Uh, now you get a haircut. I've got a big problem on that whole deal because my uh, current barber is great. He does a great job, as you indicated at the start of the show. I thought it was a chick. However, no, that was ages ago. You're oh. so far behind on that. Oh, but, sorry, uh, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Geez. yeah. I got, I've got a great uh, guy that cuts my hair down on uh, Miracle Mile, and it's uh, a little too expensive. Yeah, uh, you go, well, you go to the trendy place. That's a hike. It's a little pricey. I'm sure, I'm sure the guy who does your hair is a little bit more, let's say, flamboyant than my guy. Is, Actually, that, is, that, is that fair to say? Uh, no. Really? It's, it's really not. Is there a barber pole in front of the place you go? No. Well, there, there you, you go. go. There you go. I love the barber pole. Gotta I'm go not going to argue. Do they play place. techno music at your place? No. And, you know, like that top 40 garbage. No, it's more like uh, Miami trance. <laughs> there yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. TV personalities. Well, that's know, where they all yeah, go. I want right. to go where the TV personalities Yeah, you're right. You, you sit right that's next where to I go. Uh, Steve, you know, Steve Shapiro. Listen, man, you want to be rich, you hang out with rich people. All right? You want to uh, be on TV, you hang out with the people that get their uh, haircut on TV. A man should not spend as much money on their hair as you do. As good as your hair looks, because I've already Unless complimented you're John Edwards. Hair. Well, there you go. Again, <laughs> barbers and beer, if you're looking for a good haircut at a good price and having a good time and drinking some beer. There you go. Barbers and beer, commercial and, and, Walmart. And price is not like, you know, Joey C. Salon price. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's get to the price. Extremely affordable. 15 bucks for a cut, man. Come on. That's yeah, pretty good. I'm, I'm very envious. Okay, that's pretty good. That is really good. Hey, man, maybe I'll give it a shot. Who knows? Sign on. Who knows? <laughs> Just tired of paying 100 <laughs> <laughs> well, Hold on. That's why, the top. Top. that's why you can only get a cut. <laughs> that they, yeah. Every two months, you can only get a cut. Yeah. Not yeah. including tip. First of all, you guys are way off. Two months, that's pretty accurate. I try to go longer than that if I can. I've got all these phases that nobody cares about. Number two, 50 bucks. That's way over. <laughs> By a little. Way over. Say what at JoeCostello.com. You can also check us out on Facebook, and we're everywhere, man. Don't miss the Joe Costello Show, Saturdays, noon to 2, right here on Power Talk 1420. What is this? That's a gift certificate with your name on it. Hey, look at that. Barbers and beer. You know, I just had my and haircut. Women and wine. Though. I just had my. Is that what? Women and wine. Barbers and beer. Women and wine. Oh, there's more to it. Excellent. And they want you to come in gratis. Well, as you a as, as you, I see there's a gift card, and thanks to them, and I will definitely use it. Unfortunately, at the moment, it would have been great if we had gotten this like three days ago because I just got the haircut. But I'll do it. I'll take the plunge. I'll give it a shot. We're gonna do the test. Yeah, Pepsi challenge. I'll take some photos. The whole thing. Barbers and beer, Fort Lauderdale Commercial Boulevard. Check it out.
All right. Sign on. Barbersandbeer.com. Well, very good. We've got a lot accomplished here on the program today. We've got our great new uh, sponsor, UltrasonicsDepot.com. I want to say hi to those guys. Check them out. They've got great stuff. The Bass Boys, of course. Now our friends at Barbers and Beer. Great stuff. Something was a little different. We were. It was like the show flowed really well this week. What's different this week? The king of nothing. King of nothing, that's right. He's off on a lavish vacation. Where are you, king? The king is off at Bush Gardens, Tampa.